Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigra Techies. This is our ASP.NET Core tutorial. So part of this video, we can talk about how to deploy the web API in IA server. And here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. The first step is we have to create one brand new site and also we need to set up the file path. So let me open the IA server. So already I'm having the IES, it's opening in case if you don't have this IES, you have to enable it. For enabling this one, just go to the control panel. So here you have to select this program and features. So after that, you just go to the TAN Windows feature on and off. So inside that, we have the option is Internet Information Services. You have to select all the options and also this .NET Framework 4.8 Advanced Services here also you have to choose all the options finally you have to click this OK it will install this IES in our machine so I already have this set up so let me go to the IES so as I mentioned I am going to create my first brand new site the website name is Sales API So after that, so in the binding side, I am selecting this is HTTPS and the port is 8082. So then this IP address, if required, you can give. Otherwise, you have to keep like this. It will run in the local ghost. Then this SSL certificate, you have to select this IAS Express Development Certificate. And the local ghost, this is fine. For the view, you have to see the certification information. Add this physical path so let me create it so in the C folder internet fub then this www root here the hosting so inside the host I am going to create one more new folder so the name is sales CAP. Okay, we have done and one more important thing is just to go to the app pools in the app pool So basically this dotnet CLR version is 4.0 only you just right click uh, go to the basic settings Change it to the no managed code then click ok Then you have to recycle it Now let me try to run my application Okay, it's providing this 403 error because we have created the website not provided any files in the particular folder So basically if you are using this visual studio, uh, we have the option for the publish We will supposed to right click and we will publish once the publish is completed We will get the files then we have to move all the files in our particular folder So here also we are going to follow the same steps. So so let me go to the new terminal. So we have the commands for generating the publish files. So .NET publish. So actually we are doing this release. So we are keeping all files in the public folder. So before going to the publish, I have to run one command for uh, build. If there is any build error, we need to check first. Okay, there is no build error. You can see like a publish is succeeded and we have the five warnings. That's okay. And we don't have any error. So we can proceed with our publish. And also I need to one more check. We have to install this .NET Core Runtime Windows Hosting Bundle. Okay. So I'm having this link. I will share this link also in the description. You have to enter this link. It will automatically download the particular package. If it's not downloaded, you have to click this link. So once it's downloaded, you have to install in your machine. That is a mandatory thing. So now let me continue with my publishing. So the file publishing is completed. Uh, now you can see one new folder is added. So inside that we have the files. So let me go to the application folder. So in the publish, I am going to copy all the files. Now let me go to the IES. Here right click and explore it. I am moving all the files into 
और आइए इस बात ओके वी हैव डन नाउ आई नीड टू डू वन स्मॉल चेंज इन आवर एप सेटिंग्स डॉट जेसन सो बेसिकली आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड द कनेक्शन स्ट्रिंग एस विंडोस ऑथेंटिकेशन सो आई नीड टू चेंज इनटू द स्क्यूल ऑथेंटिकेशन so i am just removing this trusted connection pro instead of that i am providing the user id and password and also this multiple active result set also true so let me save it so the changes are fine now let me go to the ias i am just restarting and also in the browser side so let me refresh it okay i am getting this http error 404 so i am already added the log also let me go to the log folder so here you have to see our application is running in the port of 8082 and the environment is production and our application path actually we are getting this 404 error so already i know the url for one of the service is called customer Slash get all. Actually, I am getting the response. Okay, so let me check the log also. So the log also, I can see the same information. So it's requesting for this get all method in the customer controller, and then it's executing this below command. Finally, I am getting the response is 200. So in the development time, basically we will see all the results in the swagger. So if I'm providing swagger like this, still I'm getting the 404 error only. But in the development, it should be work. Why? Because we have one small change in our middleware. So let me go to the program.cs file. We are enabling this swagger for if it is your only development. In the production, we are not enabled. So let me take the build once again. So here after we are going to use this swagger for anywhere. Okay, done. And I am going to execute the command for creating the build. And let me remove this existing published file. Why? Because sometime it's not going to override the existing DLL. Okay, the publish is completed. Let me go to the folder. So, except this app settings, I am going to copy all the files, and also I need to stop this IA server. So then, let me right click and explore it once again. I am pasting all the files. Actually, we need to replace all the files. replace the files in the destination it's fine okay except this app settings dot json uh, we have changed all the files why because we have in case if i am changing this file also i need to change the connection string once again so we have done let me go to the ia server i am going to start it once again and let me go to the browser now if i am trying to refresh this one so it will work so now we are able to see our swagger ui so now let me try to execute this get all method okay it's returning the response so let me copy the same code i am going to use in the get by code method okay this one also working fine and this invoice header hopefully this one also work and our default uh, api so everything is working fine so let me reiterate what actually we have done 
so the first thing is we have created the brand new site so the second step is we have installed this dotnet core 6.0 runtime windows hosting bundle so for that i will provide the link in our description so finally we have taken the publish and moved the files into our actual folder and in this ia server i changed this dotnet clr version into no managed code so then we just started our application it's working fine still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching